Yeah. We're doing one of these videos. You guys ask me often about my gear and I very recently replaced my low pro camera bag with this Vanguard VO Active trekking bag. So I thought today we would chill in this beautiful forest and take a look. Disclaimer, I am a Vanguard ambassador. I have very recently joined the team. However, Vanguard have not given me this bag for free nor have they asked me to do any promotional content for them. I, after doing my own research, chose this bag. I have been using Vanguard tripods for a number of years now, but in all honesty, I never really gave much thought to Vanguard bags, which is a mistake on my part because they've got a decent range. This is a rear access bag, and I thought that this was gonna take me a really long time to get used to after only having owned front and side opening bags previously, but actually, I prefer this. If you're worried about security, no one can access your main compartment without wrestling the bag off you first. But otherwise, a one compartment is nice and simple and easy to access all of your gear. As someone who puts their bag down a lot on location in order to set up a shot, a rear access bag actually works a lot better for me and I can't believe that I didn't try it sooner. And also on those damp days when it's raining, if I pop my bag on the ground, then the back of the bag does not get wet. And so when I pop the bag back on my back, my back then also doesn't get wet. <laughs> it has an inner bag in the main compartments, which you can physically take out and switch out for whatever else you want in there instead. Remove it completely and then you've got a simple trekking bag, which is gonna be useful for me because I actually want to get back into hiking. Right, let's see what's inside. No worries. Just uh, close that back up. Give it a little shake, you know. That's my shopping. Try again. There we go. We got there. This compartment is designed for a DSLR setup, which is what I own, and you can get about three to five lenses in here depending on what you have. I own four lenses and I was really, really surprised that I managed to get all four into this bag, seeing as I struggled to do so with my previous Low Pro. These little sections here in the bag are removable and so I have customised it to my gear so I can get three lenses in the bag and then a fourth on my camera body. We've got the Nikon D750 with the three legged thing L bracket on, a 24 to 120 millimeter, a 16 to 35 wide angle, a Tamron 100 to 400 millimeter telephoto, and an old Sigma 70 millimeter macro lens. Now the 24 to 1 20 millimeter lens is a kit lens, but originally when I bought my D750 setup, I bought them separately. So it took me the longest time to realize that this was a kit lens. And I think it gets a lot of flack for no reason. It's not the best lens. It's not a flagship lens, but I think it's very, very versatile and decent in its own right. My favorite lens is the 16 to 35 millimeter wide angle lens. I love to have this in my camera bag. I love to use it when I get the opportunity. A few of you have asked me before why I don't have a 14 millimeter instead of a 16 millimeter. And the answer to that is simply that I don't own a 14 millimeter lens. <laughs> and in fact, any question that asks why don't I have or use something, uh, the simple answer is I don't have it. So I can't use what I don't have. <laughs> Now, obviously I don't take all of these lenses out with me every single time I go out because that would be ridiculous and heavy to carry and unnecessary. So it depends on what I'm photographing as to what I take out. I do admit I gravitate towards the wide angle lens quite often. 
The Tamron does get left at home quite a bit because it's the heaviest lens. But what I need to do is just pop this into the bag by itself and my body, no other lenses, just to utilize this a bit more and uh, do some photography with that extra focal length. So if I take two lenses out, then I've got plenty of room for filming accessories, such as a gimbal, when I remember to bring it, a lens for my Sony, a strap, etc. Again, I don't have all of this in my bag every time I go out. I try and keep it as light as possible. I've got a compartment here for filters and other bits and bobs. I'd say that my most used filter is a circular polarizing filter as it creates an effect that you can't replicate in post-processing. I have old Hoya ND filters which honestly don't get a lot of use. They're very battered. They've he heavily used. They've been heavily used. This case came with the bag and I've popped spare SD cards, lens caps, Allen wrenches and batteries in here so that they don't go floating around the bag and get lost. Not that you can lose anything in this bag anyway because look at that bright yellow. You're not losing anything in there. The second biggest compartment is at the top here. This is the day pack if that's what you'd like it to be. I usually pop any spare filming accessories in here that won't fit in the main compartment. I'll pop in here things like chargers, hand warmers, my lunch and spare socks. There is another top compartment that you could use as top access if you didn't have the inner bag inside the main compartment. Now I made the mistake of popping my car keys in there the first time I used this bag thinking that it was a general pocket. My car keys slipped down the gaps and into the laptop compartment and so when it came to getting back into the car and I went to grab my keys I couldn't find them so I had a good few minutes of full-blown panic, pulling this bag inside out, trying to find my car keys, thinking, oh God, they're falling out somewhere. I've lost them. Clumsy Courtney strikes again. One of the most important features for me on a camera bag is tripod space. I have two tripods, one for photography and one for filming, which you are on right now. Both are Vanguard carbon fibre tall travel tripods. They are very lightweight, meaning the days that I'm filming or walking long distances for photography, they don't become cumbersome in weight, but on a downside, they're not the best tripods for super windy weather. They need a little bit of help to stay stable. I can either pop one on the side of the bag, but I tend to use this pocket for my water bottle, or I can attach it to the front of the bag with these removable and customizable clips. I usually pop my photography tripod on the bag and then just carry the filming one. Finally, we've come to the best part of this bag, pockets. I love pockets. The more pockets I have, the more snacks I can bring. I'm addicted to sugar. Pocket number one on the side of the bag is designed for a camel pack, ultimate hydration when you are hiking or trekking, as this is a trekking bag. I use it for my rain covers. We've got the think tank cover for the D750. We've got a box standard clear cover for the Sony ZV-1. And then we've got the Vanguard cover that comes with the bag. Pocket number two on the other side of the bag is much smaller, but a very similar design. This is the charging station. So I've got my power bank in here and there is a hole where you can feed a cable through so that you can charge something like your phone on the go while still using it in your hand. Pocket number three, I actually just found today. It's on the back here and I don't know what I would use this for. Passport maybe? Pocket number four is on the waist strap and it extends into a bigger pouch. Perfect size for a packet of crisps. When it's collapsed, I tend to pop my wireless headphones in here for a little bit of this. Oh, 
where we just managed to get through that entire bag as the rain is starting to come in. For those who are wondering why I switched my bag out, because some of you are nosy buggers, <laughs> the Low Pro was great, but was becoming quite uncomfortable, especially in the shoulder and neck area. I was getting a lot of tension, a lot of discomfort. This is great, padded shoulders, lower back support, nice and padded in the lower back area. And I love the waist strap, just takes the weight off my shoulders and pops it onto my hips instead. Oh, well, we're all geared up now. So uh, let's see if we can go for a quick walk in the forest before the uh, torrential rain sets in. So, bye. <laughs>